Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be on my Project 10 pan, not Project 10, uh, my team project pan. So yay, I guess my projects to show you. Um, so let's get started. So let's start off with this one size by Patrick Ta, not Patrick Ta. Um, it's one size and it's by uh, Patrick Star, not the Patrick. Um, I did like it, but it started going bad. So yeah, this guy, it's like really stinking bad now. So I'm like, that guy go. This is a Morphe 2 concealer. I'm calling this guy done as well. I'm like, I scraped the snot out of this boy. Really like this um, concealer. I went to try to get them again at um, Ulta. And they don't have Morphe 2 at Ulta. I was like, god damn it. So yeah, most likely that. And this is Pico Stan. It's a perfect nude. Perfect shade for me. Nice. It is. I'm more like tan um, skin at the moment. Um, but yeah. Hopefully my lighting's okay at the moment. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's great but yeah his let me do some I can't find my other lighting so this that guy I really did enjoy this one is a light um to lightning coverage um but it looks really good on the skin I'm sweating like my freaking ass off right now like it's, my girls are sweaty my armpits are sweaty yeah it's a little bronzer I finished up it was from I, well, I got it from like one a so I was wasn't sure. I was like, eh, it's kind of cool. So it's supposed to be like the benefit one or whatever, but I'm like, okay, whatever. Two mascaras. I'm not a f horrible fan of on the Too Faced Bound Sex. It's okay. Um, but when I compared it to the Clinique, it did pretty good. I did, um, if I get a stamp, Raina gave me these. Um, so if I get a stamp of the high impact mascara, I would use it again. I do like it. The Too Faced is Ant and they. We got the Revolution 10% um, Matrix XL um, serum. This is this guy completely done. I'm glad. This was really nice. I did enjoy it. Um, what's this thing about? Yeah. So there's that guy. I did really like that. I would get that again. Then the Hard Candy Bake and um, Set. This guy's like filthy. I did like it. Um, I liked it more over my face. Um, it was a little bit light for that, but it did work. So there's that. Okay, so there's the empties. Now let's get into the, the progress. Hang on. Also, um, my hard candy. I forgot. Uh, not my hard candy. My, um, I think I grabbed it real quick. Oh, oops. I guess I didn't show you. So here's the Kat Von D I was talking about. It's in medium 52. I did really like it. It's like extremely light on me. Um, so I would definitely go maybe in the tan section. Um, I did definitely get my sister. It did have a big giant pan, so it was easy to use up. Um, so there's that. I was just like going down my titties on anything like that. And the Lord must say, flawless lemony, um, radiance foundation. I really did like this one. This was really beautiful on the skin. Um, I did get it, um, from TJ Maxx, but if I get like on a sale at Nordstrom or whatever, I would definitely, um, we purchased it again, but not now. I got a shitload of foundations and I just picked up the Too Faced, um, like tinted moisturizer foundation. Uh, um, skin tint type of thing. I do like it. It's actually uh, the ones I tried from Too Faced. It's one of the better ones. Definitely recommend the two new, new Too Faced if you like the whole skinny tint type of thing. Okay, now let's get into the extra progress. Okay, I always start with the eyes and go to the brows and um, go from there. So let's start off with the two mascaras I'm um, working on is the Morphe um, Make a Big Mascara. Really do like this one. The brush is really nicely as well. So I kind of like these kind of big brushes type of thing. I really do like it. It's, nice. it's a nice wet formula, so it's really easy to get. Yeah, makes the lashes nice. And of course, the Lancome Boosters XL. I love this thing. I've gone through like maybe three of these. Um, I've gone, I got the full size and I got like two mini Two of these little minis. I did like the L'Oreal. The L'Oreal is nice too, but um, I'll prefer the lamb cone. The lamb cone lasts you much longer than the, than the L'Oreal, which kind of sucks. So there's that. The eyeshadow primer, I'm like, has a big giant bubble, so I'm not sure exactly. I'm maybe about halfway on this guy. I do really like it. It's really nice. It holds my um, eye makeup really nicely. This little guy drives me nuts. Um, but there's that. Let me know if you like the hair. I'm, I'm liking it. It's kind of cool. This guy needs to go flop. Okay, now let's get into these guys. So we have the Revolution. Um, where the hell do you call this stinking thing? He looks like this. Um, so the only thing I don't like about it is that it's kind of hard to get open. So he is a felt tap liner. He is doing 
pretty deep, pretty good. I do like it. Um, I do have it on my eyes, and it does last really good on my eyes too. Um, it doesn't seem like it. Um, of course, this guy always at uh, the wings always don't last the longest. The only thing that does last the longest, I swear, the Guarne last Lino. That thing is freaking budge proof. I freaking love it. Thanks, Raina. Um, she there was like a little duo set from the um the serum. I'm like, eh, I didn't do anything. I don't think it's my lashes are just like whatever. Um, but the serum, I mean the lino, freaking good. But yeah, I do really like this guy. And then this guy is slow going. I did make some more progress on this month. Um, I did use it at base a few times, so I'm like right here. Yeah, I know. Phew. So this guy is going to be in here a long haul. I'm going to try to use it more as a base to go from there. It does has a little sharpen on there. I take it from Dollar Tree, so I'm like kind of like great. I'm not. For 0.07 ounce, this guy has a shitload of product in it. It's gonna take a little while. I always use it like underneath my lash line, so to hold the, to hold the, um, what do you call this thing? Eyeshadow underneath the thing? Now let's get into brows. So let's start off with the ABH um, pomade. And I am like literally almost done. Like, look at that guy. It's like almost done. I am so happy. Um, I've been working on this guy for the end of um, last year to end of this year. Usually it takes me about six months if I continue. Okay, I thought I'd do something and then walk by, but I didn't. Um, it usually takes me about six months um, to go through these things, six to eight, but it's a like, continuously used. So I'm adding this little shadow thing. This is what I got my mom. I have no idea what the brand is, um, but my mom gave it to me. So this is what I use for my, um, to set it. I don't do palm, palm ace, hello. I don't use um, bra gels or anything like that because my lashes don't really my lashes. My eyebrows don't really need it. It's a really light um, shadow, so it doesn't have the much pigment to it. But it does really work as to set my brows because the, um, the, the, the pomade's a little bit dark, so it does soften them. I do have it on my eyebrows today, um, like usual. Um, it might be a little bit washed off because of the sweat, but yeah. But and I didn't really um, top them off too much. Actually, they look pretty decent. It's probably like more, you can get, yeah, that. So there's that guy. I really do like that. I do have a Buxom shower too that's similar to that. And I've hit like a big giant dent on that thing, which you guys would see probably. I need to post, need to put a picture up on my Instagram of um, the graveyard. And that's going to be that palette in there. Okay, so now let's start off with the base products. To start off with the Incense or Glow by Incense, I think it's this brand. Um, oh, there it is. I'm like right here. So I'm like halfway. Um, the same when I started was full. I'll be definitely done by the um, by end of this month. So yay, another primer in my collection. Um, I was like looking, I'm like, my primers are actually going down. I'm like, I'm kind of excited about that. So there's that. So that's exciting. Okay, so my Glowy Primer is about almost done. It's like at the very end right there. It doesn't happen too much. It's a mixture of the highlights from um, Natasha Nona that I did, and then also from that um, Jelly Pot Shadow Highlighter in Wimmer London, which I just keep. I like the little pot. Um, so I just mix all three of them together and combine what I get, and it works as what's well underneath my base as that. Then, of course, the, um, the white is from Natasha, Tasha, not Natasha, Tatcha, um, the silk canvas. I actually found a dupe of the sick canvas, sick can of her um, sick um, canvas, and it's from Elf. It's a sea bright primer in the um, pot container. Freaking love! It. I did it down on my face, and I can't tell the difference. Usually, how I tell the difference on pores is this dude right here. Yeah, this ugly, sh bloody piece of shit um, in front of my face. Um, and see how well that covers. And it did basically did the similar to that. So I'm after I have one more. My sister gave me. I'm working. On, this is the one that Raina um, gave me. Um, after that, um, I'm just gonna stay with the Elf. I'm probably gonna save the Tasha um, towards later on because I really want to go through my grip empire most from milk. Okay, so now let's get into uh, my foundation so right now i'm using is a pretty vulgar and this is in shade uh skinny dip maybe i bloody don't know so yeah here's what it is right now it's a pretty beautiful packaging um i got a 
a, con a foundation stick from TJ Maxx, and she got this. I mean, it got this, so we just switched. Sad part is that that thing didn't really work on her skin tone, so I'm kind of like, shit. Um, but it was a perfect match. I'm like, shit. So, yeah, I'm at, like, like way really up here on the neck. Um, so, it usually takes me about, maybe about, maybe two months to finish this guy. Maybe, who knows, I am trying to use up my, um... Becca as well. So I use the Becca when I had to get up like super early in the morning at 6.15. Um, then I use this on the days I don't. So this I got, I need to hold the blue shit up. Then my concealer I'm using is a Too Faced um, and this is Cappuccino. This one's the peach concealer. This is what he looks like. Um, this is going to take a hot minute. This guy is, let me just watch it. He's a little bit deep on me. Okay, he's way deep. He's almost like a foundation. I did. I believe I use it more as a foundation and then I just set it over and it was really pretty as I did like that. Then I use a supercharge um, and peach. And this guy is slow going. I'm maybe halfway. This guy, oh my god, I need to use this guy up. So there's that guy. I use this guy like, kind of like sort of a mixer. It's not as bad as it was in the, the Becca, but it's pretty still shitty. Then for a loose powder, I'm using it as a peach perfect and um this is the peach perfect one so we are at right here i believe so my sister actually gave me this one she gave it to my mom my mom and my mom's like just go through my shit see if you want it i'm like okay i take him um so this guy should be gone by next month i do like it it's pretty nice um i don't think it's the most matting thing in the world because um, but it did, my foundation is still looking pretty decent from this morning. I just sprayed it across my face to give me more of a glow and it did work. Then from underneath my eyes, I used the CoverGore um, Healthy Set Powder. And I don't know why I didn't, I don't think about this, but I don't know. Um, I don't know where this guy came from. I believe from my sister. This is, uh, no, she always, her, she, my sister always, She's like, she wants to be minimalistic, but she buys this stuff a lot. And she's like, hey, you want anything? So here's where I'm at on this. So I got a big giant hole. This is what I need my, I need my eyes, down in the T-zone, set that thing. So this is, this is actually not too bad, as long as I don't use it too much. What I get again, eh, I don't know. But yeah, it's not as bad as that. So it's, so there. I was like, I was like, okay, I'll take it. What the hell? Okay, so my... And my finishing powder is still this guy right here. This guy is actually Franken from the Natasha Denona one that I have. And right now he does not want to stay put. So this is where he's at right now. Duty best day. So that's where he's at. He's kind of shadowed a little bit. I can't really show it to you. Maybe I can show it to you. So he has pain right there. So there's that guy. This guy should be done by next month. And then I hope and I can work on something else. Okay, now let's do on my bronzer. So the bronzer is a two match bronze, lumet bronzer, and I have it, of course, in number three. I have a tiny little dip right here, so hopefully next month, or for sure I hit paint next month. Let me swatch this boy for you so you can see what he looks like. So there's that. So that's what I have here, 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 and I use this blush to basically an orange blush to make it more warm. It is a little bit cool tone, neutral. It's about neutral, but anything for me, um, if it's not doesn't have an orange undertone, it pours warm. I mean, it pulls cool, cool on me. That's how it is. My skin, I say it a million times, it's ha it's a very orange undertone. Um, it's more of a peach, but still, it pour, pulls way warm. My hair pulls warm. My skin pulls warm. My freaking ass pulls warm, literally. Not really, but anyway, okay, so my, my blush, I'm going back and forth what blush I want to pan, so not this, not the highlight, the highlight is going to be in my project tan, probably in my graveyard, So, but the blush is in this, so there's that, here's the blush, um, this is what I use Franken, I have no idea what I can, what I Franken it with, probably eyeshadow, who knows, and there's what he looks like, dude, okay, that was, dude, that was rude. That was wood lighting. I sound like Ange, Ange, Angie. Oh, the lip gloss, Leslie. There's that. So that's the blush. And then the highlighter is the Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Peach. 
So I did hit paint on it this month. Um, that's what he looks like. Hopefully I can get more of it out this month. Let me swatch it for you. Um, I do like it. It is pretty, but a um, bit chunky unless you um, blend it in pretty good. The actual gold one I do like a little bit better. Okay, so where in the hell? Okay, so let's next let's start off with my sand spray. This is the Ultra One Radiant Game. This I swear, Radiant always spores the shit out of me. Um, make it fix it. This dude is heavy duty. So yeah, go like this spray, and hopefully it doesn't shoot you in the face. So there's that guy. But it does work, and just the spray just sucks freaking nuts. Um, then we got, I'm taking out my black, uh, prime, my moisturizer and I'm using this one. This is a Paula's Choice Skincare. Again, you can guess who it came from. My sister. Um, so yeah, there's this guy. Um, I was, it was about half up here when I started. Um, so it's about down here. So this guy should be empty by next month. This is really do, really, I do like it. Um, it has, S the SPF has probably definitely gone bad because it's, since last year so I was like oops uh, my family and my family don't like throwing anything away they so if expire they still as long as it's point of extinct but yeah I need to wait up so everyone so we got the serum as this guy right here so this guy is um a one more spray serum by Diabala how do we say that I do like it it's nice I just use it as um oh and, um spray in in the morning um and it does work you gotta shake it up and there's that so i'm up to about here on that i don't like marking on my bottles because then it looks kind of tacky so there's it when i get again i, I don't know i believe i got a box jump you know i suck as body spray so there i'm at in here jason's been using it after he takes a freaking dump um i use it to spray his clothes so yeah um i like it it's nice when i get again no Okay, so I gotta go. Um, talk to you guys later in my next video. Like and subscribe, anything like that. I gotta charge my camera, my not camera, my wing light, and see you guys later in my next video. Bye, guys.